<laughs> Olivia Jaber, it's a pleasure yes. to uh, speak to you. O- Olivia, what exactly do you do at Prager Force? Yeah, so I have been working here for a little over a month now, and I am a coordinator helping with all of our virtual networking events, um, onboarding new members. I am helping with a little bit of the marketing and social media just to engage young students, young conservatives across the country um, and help them find a community, which is so important right now. Everything depends on kindred spirits. That's exactly what I believe, and that gives me the strength that I have to fight. How did you, you were at Berkeley, correct? Correct, yes. What, what, what were you studying? Gender studies, um, <laughs> medieval Belgian um, misogyny. What, what, uh, what did you major in? So I actually studied classics and political economics at Berkeley. So classics was really um, Roman history and philosophy, and that area wasn't really very politically tainted because we were just trying to decipher what people before us from Plato to Cicero had said. And um, on the other side, political economics was when I started to notice there was a lot of infiltration of very leftist ideology uh, in my curriculum. So uh, I got a little bit of both worlds, so to speak. Right now, uh, if it hasn't happened, it will happen. They will simply declare classics as an example of white supremacy. Absolutely. I think that is where we're headed Um, And it's a shame because classics really taught me how to analytically think and critically think. And I think that's where I developed a lot of the foundation for being able to reason through things. And it's funny, I came out as a conservative um, maybe six or seven months ago. And a lot of people who had also studied classics, even though it's a small major at Cal, um, had reached out to me and said that they too were closet conservatives, um, which I thought was very interesting that maybe that major is producing some people who can think for themselves. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that's my old belief. Study Cicero <laughs> and think clearly. Absolutely. It's a major motto. Can you say that in Latin? Um, not, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> you say you came out as a conservative six months ago were you in the closet until then yeah so i have always been politically inclined and i went to berkeley um really not knowing what i believed um and i quickly started to realize that um i was right leaning um because everything was just ridiculous um at berkeley and so Um, I also realized that the social situation, the academic situation, really didn't um, leave me much room to talk about my beliefs. And I didn't really feel comfortable voicing them. And that's honestly one of my biggest regrets. And I felt by senior year I um, couldn't really take it anymore. And um, two girlfriends and I decided to start a conservative publication. And uh, we worked on it and worked on it. And... Uh, Right when the BLM movement was first coming to fruition, uh, we had actually launched our website that week, and I was really seeking out alternate resources. All right, hold it there. Forgive me. i got to take a break. This is really important. Olivia Jaber working with Prager Force.